This new plug and play deep in device allows you to earn a passive income from gaming studios who are paying in US dollars. They have a public team backed by Avalanche and they won a grant from Microsoft. By plugging this device in, you will earn a steady stream of income because your GPU will be used to run cloud gaming. And make sure you stay till the end of the video because alongside breaking down the project, the device and a setup guide, I'll also show you the potential earnings based on your setup and explain how quickly you could ROI. I'll also share my honest thoughts on this project. In this video, I'll go through what the project is and what it's trying to achieve. I'll talk about the team and the tokenomics as well as their backers. I'll then talk about the node itself where you can buy it, the hardware requirements for it. I'll then talk to you about the airdrop campaign so that you can get involved for free today. I'll then go through a step-by-step -step setup guide if you want to get set up once this arrives. And then I'll break down the earning estimates to give you an indication of how much you could earn and how quickly your ROI could be. And then lastly, I'll give you my honest thoughts on this project. The timestamps are on the screen. All the links are in the description. Let's jump straight into this video. Right, let's jump into the YOM website so we can learn more about this project and what it's trying to achieve. So YOM is building the world's first fully decentralized cloud gaming network, a system that lets you play high quality games instantly on any device with no need for any downloads or any installs. Now, if you're not familiar with what cloud gaming is, it essentially allows you to run games on powerful remote hardware and then stream that to users. Now, this is also called pixel streaming. It's like a YouTube video, but with full interactivity. And like a YouTube video, you could stream that anywhere. So it could be on your tablet, your PC, or even your smart TV. So I've got an LG smart TV. I've got Nvidia Geoforce, which allows me to stream Fortnite and a bunch of other games through my TV. And it also allows you to have some cross-channel integration and have it on websites, etc., etc. Now, the problem with cloud gaming at the moment is that it runs on centralized servers like AWS and Azure. This has super high costs. In fact, it can cost up to 93% more than what Yom's building. It's got scaling limitations. And one of the biggest issues is it's centralized. So the bunch of these servers are in one place. And the further it is from the user who's using it, well, the distance increases ping. And nobody wants to play a high quality game that's lagging. I mean, that just doesn't help anyone. And that's how Yom is trying to build something else. It runs at 5% of the usual cost. It turns any game into a one-click instant play. And it allows users to keep all of the revenue and that's what's super interesting about this project. The integration of it means that it can be integrated almost anywhere like Telegram, Discord or Facebook. It can even work on Chromecast because it's simply pixel streaming and the way that it works is super simple. Number one, the player clicks on a link and the game loads instantly inside their browser. I mean, here's an example on the homepage of Yom. They've got five games that you can play. Then after that, it connects to Yom's Hyper Orchestrator, which is its AI that finds the closest GPU node with available capacity. It then streams that game using low latency and then the node operator receives their reward. It's cloud gaming, but fully decentralized with no single point of failure. And as I'll show you later on, once you get one of these nodes, it can actually start earning pretty much straight away. Now, the project has already got 215,000 hours of gaming streamed. It's got 20 testnet regions live. There are five playable games that you can actually take part in today. And they've got over 40 publisher and studio MOU signed. So that's Yom in a nutshell. Right, let's jump into the team, some of its credible backing and also the tokenomics. Now, one of the awesome things about the Yom team is that they are public. I actually met some of the team members when I was in Token 2049 in Dubai. And then when I was in Token 2049 in Singapore, I also met them there as well. And I found them to be very credible, very experienced, and the networks and the relationships that they had were quite outstanding. Now, Yom's team brings expertise from Meta, from Deutsche Bank, They've got a bunch of private equity builders and VCs, and they've got deep roots in gaming. So they've got people that worked in Sony, PUBG, Paradox, Vodafone, the list goes on and on. Now, this is important for a number of different reasons, but namely because public people increases credibility and we want people that have expertise as well. All of their team you can find on the website are publicly listed. Now, the other thing about this project that brings quite a bit of credibility is that they're backed by Avalanche, 
borderless capital and outlier ventures. Now, these are huge strategic investors to have on board with this project. The project initially was on peak, but actually it's now mainly on the avalanche. And this is actually better suited for gaming projects. So it makes the most sense as well. They're also affiliated with Microsoft amongst some of the other partners. They won a grant from Microsoft that they received. They were the Gamescom's tech startup winner in 2025, and they also got a BGA awards winner as well. So they've got a bunch of credibility that's going to help them as they grow this project. Right, before we look at the tokenomics overall, let's look at the way in which YOM is going to be handling its payments. Now, publishers are going to pay for the node operators for running the sessions, and that usually comes as a fiat payment. They've got a base reward payout, which is set as five cents for each of the sessions. So that's going to be converted into the YOM token. And the way that those conversions happen is that 40% is going to be distributed to the node holders, 55% to run the network, and then 5% is implemented as a burn mechanism. And when we look at the tokenomics altogether, we can see within the token allocation how much has been given to the different parts. So you've got the ecosystem, which is essentially the node operators are going to get around 22%. And then you've got the operation expenses. So this is all of the non-programmatic transactions. There's 27 that's going to go to the community. So they've got an OG holder community, those who don't sell. They've got a public round, strategic round, and liquidity pool. That's how the rest of it's going to be split out as well. But as I mentioned, the important thing to mention here is the way that these nodes earnings are distributed and make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm going to do a detailed breakdown of the expected rewards and how the rewards work for this project right so the nano yom this device I want to quickly talk about that and how it works and how it earns so you can get one of these from fresh miners the $369 the part of the founders batch edition that's a thousand units that they have available with delivery in quarter one of 26 and you can pay through any of these payment methods visa paypal mastercard if you use the link that I've put in the description, it's going to knock 10% off. That's 36 euros. Convert that into dollars in your country if you want. That's obviously going to give you a 10% discount and it's going to help the channel. So really appreciate users that use my code. It really supports the work that I do. Now, this is essentially a mini SSD. It's got one terabyte of storage. It's got the OS operating system all on it. And it's got security integrated into it as well. Now, you want to make sure that you have the minimum system requirements. I'll put a link in the description to something called Rig Check, and I'll show you how I've a rig check on my computer when I show you the setup tutorial. You can see here it's any NVIDIA RTX 2060 or higher with a high VRAM. Now the higher the VRAM, the more number of nodes you're going to be able to run on top of this physical node as well. Your minimum CPU and then your RAM, 16 gigabytes minimum but 32 GB is recommended and you want to make sure that you've got a good connected internet. Now, these are the specs that I've got on the screen and I'll show that on my rig check as well. Now, the other thing to mention is that every nano comes with one license for free, but depending on the specs of your machine, you could buy additional licenses and up to eight on one PC, but that'll be quite tough unless you've got a bunch of GPUs. Probably five is the max if you have a really good RTX. So you've got an example here of the type of GPU and the number of licenses that you could run on it. Now, this is to do with the capacity of that GPU. And remember, in the last part of the video, I will go through an earnings calculator, kind of working out how much you could earn based on how many licenses you have and what an ROI could look like based on what the earnings will be. So stick around for that. Now, you can either run this yourself using the Nano or they do have a cloud streaming option. This is essentially allowing you to run it on a VPS or a NAS operator. Now, they don't have that available at the moment, but you'd basically buy your nodes digitally and then you delegate it to a NAS. Similarly, if you bought a Nano and you want to buy additional licenses, you can do that through the dashboard, but it's not currently available. I just want to pause the video here. If you're taking any value from the content that I'm creating, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really gives me a lot of value and gives me incentives to create better videos. Right, let's jump back into the video. Quickly going to talk about the YOM airdrop loyalty program. It's called YOM Quests. And by participating in the loyalty program, you're going to gain a YOM airdrop eligibility. Remember on the tokenomics, it did say that there is a 27% uh, that's put aside for OG holders of the communities who don't decide to sell. But we're hoping that this is part of the airdrop incentive once the token goes live. I'll put a link in the description. If you join that, you'll get some XP. Uh, once you do that, the first thing you need to do is 
place to follow on Twitter. Then you're going to have to join the Discord and do a bunch of other stuff as well. And you'll start gaining these XP. So I'm going to claim these 50 XP here. It'll sign a transaction in my wallet. Now you can already see some people have got over 2,500 XP points by partaking in this. Now remember, you're also going to get a bunch of other points when you take part in the node. So I'll show you on my phone now on the node dashboard. So here I am in my dashboard. If I click on hosts, you can see my node here. If I click on quests, you can actually see here a bunch of people and the quests that they have. You've got some people here with over 280,000 XP. So it's super important that you use the same wallet that you do for uh, this airdrop campaign and use the same MetaMask when you set up your Nano to hopefully ensure that you get those XP as well. So that's just an extra bonus to make sure you take part in the airdrop program. Right, let's do a quick setup tutorial on how you can get your Nano up and running as soon as it arrives in the post. Well, of course, before you receive your device, you want to make sure that you run the rig check. This is super important because it's going to check your benchmarking, your latency and your GPU and CPU to make sure that it's capable for running this device. Once you've gone through that, of course, you can take the device out of the box. It comes with this USB to USB-C cable. Plug that into your computer. Now, this only runs on a PC at the moment. The next thing you want to do is turn on your PC. Before your PC loads, you want to run something called Run BIOS. Now, if you're not sure what that is, you're going to have to press F12, F11, F2, or delete, depending on what your computer is, and it will run in the BIOS boot up mode. This will then allow you to choose which operating system you want to run from. So you want to go down and select the Ubuntu one. That's what this is running off. Then you can select that and then press enter. It'll load for a bit. It'll show you what looks like a desktop. Just make sure that the internet is connected through Ethernet before you do this. And then it will automatically start downloading the drivers. It'll run the GPU drivers and a bunch of other stuff. Now, this takes a little bit of time. Make sure that you don't shut it off or restart it whilst this is going on. Once that's done, it's going to restart itself again. So make sure that you're around and then you can run the BIOS itself again. The way that the system that I'm running means that it's automatically going to default to Windows unless you run the BIOS. You can actually go into the BIOS, change the order so that it automatically runs on the uh, Nano every time if you want to do that. But I'll be presuming you want to use your PC for other stuff, so be on hand for that. Once you've done that, you're going to see this QR code on the homepage. Now it's time to connect your wallet. So pull out your MetaMask phone, open a new wallet, and then make sure that you scan the QR code. When you scan the QR code, you're gonna to wanna to copy the link, open MetaMask, and then go into the browser in MetaMask and paste the link. You can't do this on your Chrome browser, for example. It's gotta be done in the app. Once you're in the app and you've found the link, it's gonna connect your wallet, you're gonna choose a name, and scroll down to the bottom and click to connect rig. Now for me, I had to press another button to expand the screen, but eventually I got there. A few minutes later, my wallet was successfully connected to my rig, and I used the same wallet for the airdrop campaign as well, because I wanna get the maximum points on the same wallet. And then that's it. The screen now should show a QR code that takes you to the dashboard. And if you wanna do that, scan the QR code, copy it again, go into MetaMask, go on the browser, and then simply paste it and then go on there. And you can see here that I'm scrolling down down. You can see that my rig is live. You can see some of the metrics and the statistics that you can see on there as well. There's a leaderboard on there as well. That's the one that I covered in the airdrop program. And that's essentially it. You can just run it as it is. Really simple and easy setup. Took me about 10 minutes. All right. So what could you potentially earn with this project? I already went through some of the potential earnings and how you can stack up licenses. Now, it is going to make sense for you to run a rig check just to make sure that this runs for you. I've got a link for that in the description. Now, actually, what I really realize is that majority of this is due to VRAM. So if you click on this calculator here, I will put a link to this in the description. You can actually choose the number of VRAM that your GPU has. My 3060 has 12 GB of VRAM. So I could technically run three nodes off of mine. You can play around with your upload speed and uh, how many hours a day you're going to have it online. And it's going to come up with an estimation of how much you're going to earn. Now remember, this is a potential estimation. It's putting the ROI at roughly around eight months. And on the docs, there's actually an idea of how this payout could be in a practical example. So on average, it's assuming that your node will be utilized 50% of the time that it's available. So roughly half of the hours that the node is set up, it should be having an actively streamed session. And based on some of the network simulations, they estimate that the earnings to be $53 per node, assuming a 50% workload allocation. Now, of course, the number of nodes that you additionally put on your machine 
this should increase quite substantially. So if you can put five nodes on your machine, so if you've got a 4090 and you've got one nano and four licenses, that should give you $265 per month. But even on the original node of $53, you can actually get an ROI estimate that's up on the screen. Cost of the nano, which is 360 euros brackets, $419. Divide that by the expected $53 a month, and that should give you an eight month ROI. And if you get that, eight month ROI, of course, that's based on the YOM token still being at the price of TGE, then that's pretty decent ROI. In fact, it's the fastest ROI of any deep in project at the moment. So that's pretty decent if you think about it. So that's just something to think about when it comes to the earning. Right, last part of the video, my honest thoughts on this project. Now, I did receive this nano device as a free device from the YOM team. This was to review the device and also do the onboarding. So uh, I want to be clear about that when I make this review video. Now, I've got three positives and three things to watch out for. The first positive is that they have a public, credible team, and they have some very experienced backers. Outlier Ventures, Borderless Capital. These are huge investment partners that thoroughly check a project before they put their name to it. And Avalanche is the leading chain for gaming on crypto. So really, this is a match made in heaven. And of course, the team, as we know, is fully public and they've got a stacked out experience. This goes a long way when it comes to these projects, especially a public team. If they're willing to put their face behind it, then they're willing to put their experience behind it as well. The second thing about this project is that value is already flowing through the network. Now, they haven't announced their total income, but the uh, group members that I've spoken to, members of the YOM team, have mentioned agreements that they've got on the background. And they've already got six active games. Remember, every time this game is used, and play they get paid for it they get paid for every time it's used with over 215,000 hours of gaming streamed 40 publisher mous and real players on the network they've already got value here and they're building a pretty awesome team and the third positive is how early we are in the project now there's only a bunch of active nodes live at the moment because of the high quality of data that's required so if you get one of these and you run it you're going to be part of the leading community for this project. Now, some of the concerns that I have with regards to this project, the first one is that they have a very limited number of games available at the moment. With only five games available on testnet, they're going to need a lot more games to generate value and revenue for this project. The second concern that I have with this project is that the barrier to entry is not small. I mean, they do have a price, 369 euros for the Nano, and then potentially you've got to pay for your GPU and a gaming rig if you don't already have one. And so so it could potentially be quite expensive, even if you go for the hosting option. So it's not as if it's a super low barrier to entry. Now, bear in mind the ROI could be around eight months, which is still decent when it comes to deep in. So that is balanced. And the last thing to mention is that it's a competitive landscape. There are other deep in cloud projects available at the moment. There's Aether, for example, that I've covered on this channel. There's DeepLink that I've also covered on this channel. And so they're really going to have to be aggressive with their partnerships if they want to be different to the other deep in projects out there at the moment. Let's see what the future holds for you. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Again, I've got all links in the description. If you've got any questions about this project, leave a comment below. And hopefully, if you like this video, you'll like these as well.